reason I came to the Miners Memorial is because it in itself depicts our appreciation for everything the miners have done. And that's what Blair Mountain is all about. Blair Mountain was kind of the cradle uh, of the beginning of the miners movement in West Virginia and led to union movements throughout the United States. So I'm here to support the march. I'm here to help save what I consider to be a historic site and a potential tourist site of the state of West Virginia. Well, the first thing I'd do is I would push as the governor to get it on the historic register. That's where it should be. Uh, you know, this is a historic site. It's the biggest armed insurrection uh, since World War, uh, since uh, the Civil War. And, um, you know, a lot of history happened out there. This should be preserved as an archaeological dig, as a historic site. It's part of West Virginia history. And, you know, uh, it just shouldn't be uh, stripped. Well, um, my campaign has uh, got three prongs to it, basically fiscal responsibility. Now, I am tight as the bark on a tree. I was when I was the mayor of Richwood, West Virginia. Uh, I don't believe in spending money uh, frivolously. And, you know, uh, being tight and being frugal is really important to everybody these days. Um, part of fiscal responsibility for me is getting raising the surplus uh, in terms of severance taxes on coal and oil and gas. Uh, you know, West Virginia's is 5%, Wyoming's is 7%. If we would raise ours to 7.5%, we could generate $200 million more to do all the things that we know our state needs. What do we need? We need broadband, we need green energy jobs, we need money for our kids to go to school, we need preschools, we need new schools, the list just goes on and on and on. Now what I say to the people of West Virginia is this, if you think our state has given way more than it's gotten in return, and I tell you, almost every West Virginian I meet thinks that. And don't you think it's time we just simply got our fair share so that we can move forward into the 21st century? Uh, Marcella Shale could be a great thing. Uh, the jury's kind of still out on that. At the moment, we have no regulations whatsoever, which is a really bad idea. Uh, I personally have a farm in Greenbrier County. It's been in my family for 100 years. I bought it from my grandma in 1983. Uh, they want to come in and test, a uh, pretest for fracking. Uh, I have no rights whatsoever to keep them off my land, which seems completely wrong to me. Uh, and but going further than that, you know, you look at what's going on in Morgantown. I mean, here they've got a major fracking uh, well right next to the municipal water supply. The mayor didn't even know it was going in. Stuff like that just shouldn't happen. Uh, it's 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 pot posing a potential risk to the water supply of Morgantown. I mean, hopefully nothing will go wrong, but we've got to have some regulations in place on that. So uh, I basically want to move West Virginia into the 21st century. Uh, and I differentiate from the other two candidates. As far as I'm concerned, they're way more similar than they are different. I would consider myself to be a centrist uh, who wants to create jobs for West Virginia. And I really want to give our youth an opportunity to stay in West Virginia. That's the, we've had a brain drain for way too long. We've got to figure out a way through jobs, entrepreneurship, and economic development to allow our youth to stay.